Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. Just recently, like this morning before daylight, I headed up the mountain to my buddies. Him and his boys got out and shot five wild hogs last night. Wild hogs are a nuisance and actually tearing up the pasture land and doing more damage than that. So whenever they move in on them, they have to thin a few out. They'll move off for a while before they come back. He knows I really enjoy wild hog meat, and I've got quite a bit that I like to do with it, so he offered them to me, and I was glad to take them up. So today, we're gonna scald these things. I've never scalded wild hogs before. I've always wanted to. They had to go ahead and gut them and get them dressed out because it was gonna be a while before I could get them. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I don't know if it's okay to have, let that hot water get inside that gut cavity or not. Is that gonna halfway cook it? I don't know. So we're just gonna kinda ease into this little by little and see how it goes. Right now I've got my water heating up. As Soon as it hits 145 degrees, we're gonna get started. Yeah, I'd rather that hot water didn't go down in his meat. Yeah, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. It did. Oh boy. It did. It did. Oh boy. Let's see. Can you hand me something, Frank? Give me that stick over there. I'm gonna push his feet down in. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I can't keep the water out of his chest cavity. No. The reason why he's got a bacon missing is because we needed it. You might have already seen a video about uh, taking the bacon and cooking three ducks. If you didn't see it, you might want to see it. You might not want to see it, but that's where this bacon landed. It's cooking right now in the oven over three wood ducks. Oh, they were running wild up there? Oh, Daniel Boone. They were running wild. But they ain't running wild now. Wait, you didn't kill them, did you? I mean, no, shot them? they was killed last night. Oh, I just went and got them. You went and got them. Big Gunter killed them. He did. Him and his boys and some of his cut nephews. I don't they know was out last night doing this? And they're running in the back field back there. Yep. Huh. I know one thing, they got some good looking meat on them. Got the paint looking. Yeah, good. Good fat on them. They've been yeah. eating their corn, you know. There, it's pulling off good, Frank. We got to get it out of here. Okay. You get the back feet, they're still cold. These front ones kind of hot. Uh, and I'm going to try to dump this water out of this chest back into the pot. <laughs> Okay, drop your in a little bit. How's that? Is water out of it? All right, let's go to the table with it. Ooh, boy, ow! Mm. <laughs> That's hot. That's hot. I'm going to burn my britches. <laughs> it's coming mm. off, huh? Look at that, Frank. I always wondered if you could scald a wild hog, and now I know. Yeah, but still, got to get more room. We're going to get it. Look at that. Yeah, we'll singe whatever don't pull off, but my goodness, that's great. <coughs> it's a little tough right here. It ain't yeah, coming off. Might have to do a little bit more there, son. Huh? Might have to go in a little bit more. May have to go in a little bit more. Now, right there underneath the chin there, they like pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. It's coming off good. Huh. Wow. Frank, I like it. Yeah, but it need to go a little more, don't it? You know, Frank, a lot of people think you just scald the hair off, but you're actually taking the outer layer of skin. Yeah. See that? That's the epidermis. That's the outer epidermis. Mm-hmm. You yeah. mean, can I use your coffee cup to scrape with? Why no? Why? Because we got coffee in it. I don't want to use my coffee cup. Make my coffee cup. On, uh. <laughs> Some places are pulling off easy. Why is these places not coming off, right? I don't hear it. Don't. It wasn't in the water very good. It was in the water, son. Not very good, son. Not very it good. It was underwater, son. Yeah, but still got to go back in. Yeah. I am happy with this, son. Ain't that amazing? Still got to go back. You know, you go. Right here on this neck, it don't come off. You got certain places that do and certain 
What you look like, like you got some beard sticking out of your nose. You got some beard, yeah. <laughs> this is really strange how that you have these particular lines that will not come loose. It's unbelievable how tight they are, this whole section of the neck and this here mask. So if we have to, we can take a torch and singe that off and scrape it. I may try some more hot water on it, just see if that turns it loose. But that's what we're dealing with. All right, I'm gonna try laying this wet, hot, wet rag across his face. Uh, see if that don't help get that heat into that area. It's working, little by little. This is the next day. I got a message from a YouTube friend of mine and he had a scalding pan. This thing is unbelievable, perfect for what I'm doing and for what I need. Now we still had three wild hogs that still had to be scalded. They're pretty much frozen through. So our water is a good bit hotter than 150 degrees, but I'll, we're gonna watch it. Hopefully not cook the hide all the way through. But I want to say a huge thank you to Scott for this. It is a, such an awesome, awesome pan. Dump that water out. He's hot. <laughs> all right, up on the table. Snow cream, you can't beat snow cream on a day like today. Is it good, Dave? Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Is it good, boys? All right, folks, we're gonna call it a day. It's starting to get dark. We still have one pig left to go, believe it or not. We'll do that one tomorrow. But as you can see, clearly you can scald a wild hog, but it's a little more difficult, in my opinion, than the Mangalitsa, although both of them have long hair. I don't know why, but one of the ones we did today had a bunch of down on it, like almost like goose down. We had to burn it off. But this one here scraped easiest as the one we've done so far. But another downside on hunted hogs is they've got occasional bullet holes but that's just to be expected but if you were wondering 
Maybe you searched for this video. Can you scrape a wild hog? You can do it. That's your answer. And that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.